that the fish? There we go, there goes one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, got one. Got him on the Pertagon. Oh yeah, that's definitely a nice fish. Look at that. Absolute gorgeous bow right there. Look at the fins on him. There he goes. What is up guys? It is Aussie Fishing Adventures and today is the return to Spring Creek. As you guys know, the last trip to this creek, I did not do too well. It's a very pressured fishery. A lot of people know about this stream and it is just loaded with wild browns, but they're very smart. They get fished over a lot and at times it feels like there isn't any fish in the creek but then you'll step in the water and you'll spook like 10 fish <laughs> all right guys today i was out with my buddy scott major who has a youtube channel and it's called pa woods and water be sure to check out his youtube channel in the link in the description below he is an awesome youtuber very educational youtuber teaches a lot of people new things about fly fishing he's helped me so much with my nymphing techniques and also he's just helped me get much more natural drifts just approaching holes differently a little bit slower taking it bit by bit he taught me a lot so i got to give him a lot of credit for helping me become a better fly fisherman as well as my dad so make sure you check out his youtube channel let's just get right into the video guys really hope you enjoy this video it was a very tough day the water was very high in spring creek and we had to really work for our fish but we did get into some really nice fish they weren't that big but they were hard fighters and they were just gorgeous they were all colored up make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel you haven't yet and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads let's get right into it and let me show you my setup enjoy all right guys so today i'm out here my hydras sl3 my five weight fly reel going up from there got a little nice flashback pheasant tail and attached to that I got a nice squirm worm the water's really nice and off color and I think me and Scott are gonna really hammer him today we'll see what happens that's attached to forex tippet that goes on to my niffing leader let's go have some fun guys this should be awesome all right so I'll just talk about Scott like he was telling me how to approach this I'm gonna take little baby steps up through here until I reach about the middle and then I'm gonna try to long cast and get on that other side of the current now I'm gonna back out, take about, make go like up five yards, and then go do the same thing again. I'll show you, you'll see what I'm doing as I'm doing it, but just trying to teach you guys. I said, I'm trying to be a little bit more educational as I go. Whoa, there's one. Yeah. All right, guys. It's another nice, I think it's a pretty decent fish. I think it's just because he's in the current though, I'm not sure. First fish of the day, guys. As I said, I don't have a net. That's the only thing that's gonna be tough today, but it's all right. <laughs> yep. Nice. Man, he does not want to come out of that current. <laughs> oh yeah, not bad. Not bad fish at all. Oh. <laughs> awesome, and he took the caddis pupa, guys. Yep. Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. Wow. Colors on him are absolutely awesome. Oh, come here, dude. All right. Look at that. All right, guys, let's release this beauty. There he goes. Let the party begin. Got a beautiful day here, off color water. And we're still the only people on the creek. All right, guys, so right now we're just working these little pockets because this creek, there's fish everywhere. Oh, you see that bump? Might have been a rock, but I don't know. So hard to tell. Come on, fish, just wake up. Oh, they woke up, all right. Oh, crap. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That was a little bit of a rough hookup, but he's on still. <laughs> little guy. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Let's get it. Get in here, my little guy. Man, I love how the fish fight in this creek, though. They're all nice fighters. Took the glow bug. All right. Beautiful fish. Really fat one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh crap, I'm still on him. He got my glow bug too. He got my other thing too. Oh wow. He ate both flies. <laughs> he ate both flies actually. Really? Yeah. I literally released him and I didn't even know he had my other fly. <laughs> wow. Look at that guys. Look, right in the corner of the mouth he has the caddis pupa too. There he goes. Taking little steps up. Have my line back here. The cool thing about this creek I like about this like section is it seems like it's all fast water, so I'm able to easily make these like you know little roll casts. I'm just flicking my wrist a little bit and I'm just bringing my fly line in, getting it off the water. Nice natural drift. Saw a little bump there, but I don't think it was a fish. But I said before, you don't ever want to not set the hook. You know, that little bump, like you might think, oh, it's just a rock, and then it'll end up being a fish. And it could be the biggest fish of your lifetime. It could be any fish, you know? You know what I mean. All right, guys, picked one off right in that deep slot. As I said, I thought there was definitely going to be a fish in there. Not a bad fish. Not bad. He ain't huge, but nice fish. Let's go. Man, the fish are all fighters in this creek, though. I love it. Well, that's not a bad fish at all. About, might be about 13. Man, boy, is he head shaking like crazy <laughs> man these fish fight these fish are just fighting so hard i love it i am loving it oh yeah that's not a bad fish at all look at the par marks on that fish absolutely gorgeous got him on the caddis pupa man this guy is still head shaking like crazy i don't have a net so we're gonna have to drag him over here oh and not get stuck in a tree <laughs> All right, let's handle this guy. Look at that gorgeous fish. Awesome. Third fish of the day. Been slow, but we're getting them. There we go. All right, Scott's got a really, Scott's got a pretty nice one on, he told me. Got him on the Pertagon. Oh yeah, that's definitely a nice fish. Oh yeah, let's go. go. Beautiful fish. Good, good 13 That's awesome. Look at the colors on these fish. I mean, they're absolutely wicked. <laughs> hey, that go. boy. Good 13 plus. Here's the, here's the fly. Show the fly. Look at that guy. Yeah. Hopefully you can see that. I hate how these GoPros don't focus on anything. <laughs> looks nice right along the bank here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work the bank and stay low just like oh I had a bite sometimes they'll be hugging the bank in weather in conditions like this all right guys so now I'm, I still got the glow bug on but I put a little black zebra midge on he's got this that's what he got his um uh, last couple of fish on actually no he got them on pertagons I got a little black zebra midge on because he had a on um, a silver beads so we're thinking maybe they're looking at something with silver beads for some reason you never know these fish Trout are weird. They're different from any other fish out there. Well, maybe that's not true. <laughs> nice grand generalization, Oz. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Try to inside seam. Right there. Fish, yep. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Booyah. Better fish. Took the midge. <laughs> the one we just on? Huh? Yep, the one that's put on. <laughs> Not too big. I thought he was bigger. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure did. Awesome. See, it didn't look too deep at right in that seam, but had to cast here. These fish are just everywhere. All right. Yeah. I don't think he's out of energy completely yet. I need to get on my line or something. It's kind of annoying. Wait a second. I'm going to reel in my line in the back of me while I can. So I can handle this fish better. Not have any line going crazy everywhere. There we go. Oh, he got off. Oh, no. He, oh, no, he didn't break me off. Good. <laughs> good, 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 good. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right, guys. Another one. Oh, my. Oh, my. These fish are fighters. They are really fighters. Holy cow. 
Oh. <laughs> Holy my gosh. Come in here, dude. Picked them off right in that fast water. Not a bad fish. About the same size as the last few. Oh my. <laughs> All right, guys. Fourth fish on Spring Creek today. Another beaut. Awesome. Took the glow bug. Oh my goodness. These fish in this creek just have so much energy. Oh. Oh no. Wait, what? It looked like he had the glow bug. Now he has the caddis pupa. What the? He had the glow bug, now it's like he's on the caddis pupa. Ah, oh, came off. All right guys, for these next few clips, me and Scott actually moved to a new spot on Spring Creek because it got really slow in the spot we were at. And we figured, let's check up downstream and see if we could find any new spots. We decided to go to this one spot. There was some really deep, beautiful pocket water. Very hard to wade though, super hard to wade. I had to be very careful. The water was very swift and me being a small guy, <laughs> It is tough. It was absolutely tough getting through there, but it was definitely worth it. Landed a nice rainbow, and I think I landed a nice brown. I'll have to go through the footage and edit it as I go, but hope you enjoy, guys. Let's get back into it. Yeah, let's go. All right. This guy's got to tell me, tell me on a new rig. He has caught like three of that, three um nice wild rainbows on the um uh, on his little wiggle nymph. I'll show you that wiggle nymph once he puts it on, but it's a really interesting looking thing. I've never seen anything like it actually. It's definitely different. But it works. Alright guys, I got one finally. Thank goodness. And that little pocket right up there. Let's go. Doesn't seem like a bad fish. He's not too bad at all. Oh yes, and stuff 12. Yep, it's a rainbow. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Oh yeah, it for sure is. He's in the glow bar. Yeah, he not want to come out of this current. I didn't think it was a fish at first, I couldn't tell. As soon as his head cracks the surface, bring him over to your neck. Oh. Drag him up on top. Come in here, buddy. Drag him over. Drag him over. Uh. Keep the head up. Keep the head up. Uh. Oh, no. Get it up. Yeah, there we go. All right. Absolute gorgeous bow right there. Look at the fins on him. There he goes. Looks too good to be true. Fish. Whoa! <laughs> All right. That's a nice fish. Gotta get him on the reel. It's gonna be a fun one. Nice, About 14, 15. Yeah. Beauty. I got one too. Double. Oh, double up. Let's go. Oh, no, he's not giving up yet. Ooh, got a also. Nice. <laughs> These guys are jumpers. Oh, no you don't. Not done yet. Thought he was done. Come here, dude. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got him on the, um, um, the wiggly nymph. Wiggle, Wiggle nymph. <laughs> nice. That's a gorgeous brownie right there. <laughs> Gorgeous brownie. Nothing like being at Spring Creek. There he goes. All right guys, so I got a new setup. I got this little wiggle nymph. It's a really interesting nymph. I'll just show you guys a closer look later in this video. And then I got a nice glow bug and then I got two split shot and that goes into my 4X tippet. We'll see if we hook any other fish. 
All right guys, so about two weeks after me and Scott did this video, I decided to go back with one of my fishing buddies. And we landed a couple fish, but it was very tough. The water was not nearly as off color as it was in this video. Here's some extra footage of me and him landing some fish that day. Enjoy. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> awesome colors on that one. Pretty fish. For sure is. All right. Maybe I'll start the feeding frenzy. You never know. <laughs> they have to be laying in that slower water. I'm telling you. It's exactly where trout will go when this water goes down. Ah, I got it in the fast water. Keep it in there. Perfect. There's one. Fish on. Yep. Knew there was one in there. Had to be. Perfect. Oh, jumper. No, not too big. Nice. Oh, that's a pretty little fish right there. As I said, I thought they would definitely be hanging out in there. Oh my god, this guy's a fighter. <laughs> Come here, dude. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Yeah, current so quick. Oh my, look at the orange on that fish. Wow. Took the stone, took the golden stone fly. Awesome. First fish of the day. Oh my goodness. Hope you can see him. There you go, look at that. There it goes. That's a fish. There we go, there goes one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, got one. Whew. Man, he hit that quick too, holy cow. Not a bad fish either. Took the bugger. I knew that I was gonna get a nice fish on the bugger. I said, oh no! And I'm in the tree! All right guys, so I can absolutely say that was a big improvement from the last time I hit Spring Creek. If you haven't checked out the first video from Spring Creek, I might leave it in the description below. Hopefully I remember I say that. <laughs> if it is there, link in the description below. If it's not, just scroll through my videos and it's a little bit a while back, but you'll see it. I caught some nice wild brownies in that video, but very, very tough fishing. No matter what, Spring Creek is just very tough, but I think the off-color water really gave me an advantage. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, I'm going to get back onto the Strategic Bugger Tactics video series. I'm going to be uploading a really crazy video where I fished this little dinky limestoner, and I just caught a monster out of this little limestoner. I would have never fought. I didn't even think this fish would have lived in here. <laughs> like, I was just throwing buggers because I wasn't catching anything for the whole entire day, and I didn't know there was actually big fish in this creek until this happened. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next week. Now, I was a little bit on the tired side in this next video because I was just exhausted, didn't catch fish. Fish all day. And then I finally looked at this fish and I was still exhausted. I'm like, oh, finally a fish. But I wasn't, I didn't have the energy that I usually do. So I actually added a little bit of voiceover in the video just to add a little bit more enthusiasm to it, if you know what I mean, because that's kind of who I am. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to all you haven't yet, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. I'm out for now, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the content that I'm putting out.